Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I have invited Anmol. So hello Anmol, thank you, thank you for accepting my invitation. So could you please give me a quick introduction so that our viewer will get to know about you? So hi everyone, this is me Anmol. I am right now working as member technical at Disha. And I am also having this YouTube channel where like I post videos related to lead code daily, uh, lead code daily contest or uh, DSA related videos and my interview experiences and various other stuff related to software engineering. And thanks Amrit Anjali for inviting me uh, to your channel and thanks for having me here. Yeah. So that's really great. I personally watched some of his video and trust me, he's creating a very good video. So you can check out his channel. I will put the uh, channel link in the description. So please check out description for this. Yeah. So I came to know about that you cleared interview of D show and Salesforce and Car Urban Club. So could you please explain how you got interview opportunity from these three companies? Okay. So let me start with Urban Club first. So Urban Club, um, like it was an on-campus opportunity for the Urban Club. Like they visited our campus and I'm from NSIT. So like after like the commencement of the placement season, like 15, 20 days after the Urban Club visited our campus. And from there, like I got this opportunity and the process was like a fairly very simple. Like first of all, there was this online assessment round involving like four DSA medium hard level kind of questions. Uh, and then proceeding further, like two interview rounds, uh, which lasted for like 45 to 50 minutes each. And they were primarily focused uh, on DSA and development. So this was for this urban clap. And like per um, Salesforce, it was this off campus opportunity since I was already placed in urban clap. I wasn't allowed to sit for the on campus opportunity in Salesforce. So I applied off campus only. Um, so in Salesforce, the process was uh, like there was first this online assessment round in which like there were three medium kind of questions. And then following which uh, there were like two interviews, um, uh, two, inter two like code pair kind of interviews and one hiring manager kind of interview. So, and like, and now let's talk about Disha. So, for DSHA, it was also an off-campus opportunity. And like the process for DSHA was like a bit on the tougher side. Uh, like in the online assessment round, there were various sections, like whole online assessment was divided into five sections. And then there were specific cutoff for each section. And there were like three interviews after which like they rolled out the offer to me. And like I had also, uh, created these separate videos on my channel so like if you want so you could like go through with those videos and like i had also posted the questions like which they asked or like similar kind of questions which were asked to me so that you can get a proper glimpse of like what the interviewers uh, do ask really in the interview so yeah you could check it out yeah so that's really great. So as you have created lots of company like create, uh, clearing the interview of this company are really tough, especially for the D show. I personally faced like this or you to ask a very tough question during the interview. And also uh, during the online test, they used to ask some aptitude kind of question also. So could you please explain that what was uh, what type of question they asked in your uh, online round and uh, in the interview like they only focused on DSA based like lead code based question or they asked uh, like a tougher side of lead code some something related to community programming kind of things. So like in the online assessment round, it was like divided into five sections. So three sections were of like uh, DS and algo kind of questions and the problems were related to graphs and uh, DP and like there were uh, of like medium and hard kind of difficulty of lead code. I'll say that. And for the aptitude thing, like I feel like since like I'm uh, very much like doing this DSA kind of thing and like also like the we have like a kind of good aptitude like since we all are engineers so i don't feel like uh, the aptitude would be a major roadblock but like the computer fundamental disha also like focuses a lot on computer fundamentals so you have to like be thorough with it and in the interviews also like the equal amount of weighted 
were given to computer fundamentals as well as the uh, dsa so yeah so like and like discussing about the discussing about the like interviews like in the interviews also like um, interviewer do ask like medium and hard kind of difficulty level of questions and like also like you have to like code the um, code the solution out and like it would be tested on like computerized test cases it's not like uh, like you coded a particular solution and then the interviewer like sometimes what used to happen like interview interview miss out on some test cases so it doesn't happen in the show like the the problem is given to you and you have to code the solution and then you have to run those test cases and if all those test cases passes then only your uh, interview will proceed further yeah. so uh, yeah this is really great and one more thing i want to ask like if some of our viewer are watching this video for their interview preparation like uh, like in within 10 days they are having interview for urban club or something like sales force so what are some advice you want to give them so like dsa is a foremost the important thing so like you could revise the concepts out um, and like apart from it like most of the companies don't ask like computer fundamentals and like um, those uh, aptitude questions in their online assessment so you just primarily need to focus on uh, the dsa and i feel like lead code is a very good platform where you could practice, practice it out like and there are other platforms also but i do feel so like lead code provides a fairly good kind of problems and cover all the concepts uh, particularly so yeah you could check it out too yeah so this is really great advice as you said that lead code is well enough like you can get all kind of uh, question at lead code and dss is really important so, so with this note i want to in this video so i just want to recommend you all that please go to the lead code and solve in a question and at least solve all the standard question of lead code yeah so thank you thank you and more for this podcast and i just i just want to recommend you all then don't waste lots of time and start preparing from now itself so okay bye bye thank you thank you so much for watching this video and please like this video and subscribe this channel and also check out the channel of anmol Okay. Thank you everyone.